Tech Coach Jeannie here, and today I'm going to show you how to schedule a broadcast or one-time email in ConvertKit. So if you don't have a ConvertKit account yet, you can go to my affiliate link, techfunforyou.com forward slash ConvertKit, and you can always grab a free account. Here's a trial, a free trial, and then after the free trial, you can decide to either upgrade and buy a paid plan or you can continue on with their free plan. So here I am already logged in. I'm going to actually go to the dashboard and I'm going to go to send and broadcast, which are one-time emails. So I have some previous broadcasts that I've sent and I'm just going to go to new broadcast. In this case, I am promoting a JV partner and a good JV partner will give you swipe copy and graphics. And so in this case, I really don't have to think very hard to come up with copy. And so here are the graphics that I can choose from. This is the breakdown of what I need to do. And so I'm just going to grab a headline that I like. And you can always test these subject lines in ConvertKit. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste in Control V the first subject line, and I'm going to choose a different subject line as well. So Control C is copy. I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts when I'm working. So you can just paste in the second and you can see which which works more effectively. So hi, I usually like to customize my emails just a bit by including the first name if I can. So let me see personalization, subscriber first name. So you have to make sure that you have the first name as a field in ConvertKit before this actually populates. So if you have a list that only has like the last name or doesn't collect the first name, you don't necessarily want to use this personalization. But here I'm going to go in and paste directly from this Google Doc the information and there's some handy highlighting here that shows me where I'll need to insert my, my affiliate link. So I'm just going to paste this in. And sometimes I'll have to clean up the spacing just a little bit. So looks like some of the spacing does need to be cleaned up just a little bit. So especially when you're working with swipe copy, you want to make sure that you are customizing this. So sometimes you can personalize it even more. But right here, this is my affiliate link. You can test it out in your browser. So let me just paste it in my browser, make sure that it comes up. So that looks good. Let's hop back over and I'm going to insert these links. Now you can see I pasted in the copy, but it hasn't necessarily carried over my specific affiliate link. So you have to customize that and make sure it's correct before you send this to your list. So in this case, there is a link, but it's not my link. So I need to go in and replace the link. And in this case, it sort of took It took the wording away, so let me just paste it in again. And so sometimes it takes a little bit of time to 
Just make sure you have all the details correct. So let me replace. You can see this is not the real link. And it overrode the text. So let me Let me kind of add some wording back in. Let's apply this. Okay, so right now you can preview this. So you can go to browse templates. You can use your own template or you can have it just blank. I'm just going to leave it very simple for now. So let's go to continue. You can send the email or publish it to the web. So let's actually go back. I want to preview it. So here's my draft. Here is the email that I started. You can preview it. So it looks like I did not fully, fully customize this. So your first name goes here. It should not say that. And let me click on these links and just double check that they do come out. So that one works. And this one. In ConvertKit, you're kind of previewing this before you schedule it out. Okay, so let's go back. And I may send a test email before I finalize this, but Let's go to send email. You can confirm the send email, your subscribers. You can go to send now. So this is where the scheduling takes place. And in this case, I'm just going to double check the calendar. So this starts April 15th. So I don't want to send it before April 15th. So April 15th at three PDT is fine. You could do advanced options, preview text. I don't know if I necessarily want that. Publish to the web. You can decide to have that or not. So let me maybe put one of these in the preview. This is kind of optional, but preview text right there. So let's go in. And so you can schedule this. If you find anything wrong that you want to change, you can unschedule it. So especially if there's enough time before this is scheduled to go out, you can always make some changes. So congrats, this is scheduled. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. You can always contact ConvertKit support directly. Have a great day.